so it should be on. Okay. Hi everybody, um, I'm Jen and this is Perfect Pet Bunny. I'm Josh's mom and Josh of Josh and Daisy. I don't know if you can see Daisy on the floor. I'm here. Lynn asked me to come and talk to you all about our Perfect Pet Bunny. She's our beautiful baby bunny. She just turned three on September 25th. She came to Service Dog Project in December of 2020. She was donated by some people who had been involved in the past and they had a breeder and they were, they received both uh, Bunny and Rosie and it turned out to be a little more than they could handle so they, they donated them to the Service Dog Project to be trained. As you can see, they're, they're different kinds of Dane. You see Bunny and Daisy have a lot in common, but Daisy has a, a blocky European face, and Bunny is, a Euro, is a, an American Dane. And her bone structure is much different, um, much more delicate. She's taller, she's similarly sized to Daisy, but believe it or not, she's about 10 pounds, or maybe only about five pounds heavier than Daisy. She's much taller though. Uh, what else was I going to tell you guys? Oh, um, if I remember right, she arrived. I can picture her being, her and her sister being led onto the cameras. I believe it was the day after Christmas of 2020. And they were the cutest things. Um, well, you can see Bunny hasn't changed. Uh, she and her sister, I said, they're American Great Danes. So Bunny ended up as a, as a perfect pet because she was very, very nervous. She, from the moment, her first training trip, she, she ran. She, she was always, she used to hide in the kennel. She had a few trainers. She was pretty good with coming to the trainers. She would come to Judy and she loved Diane. Um, she and Haley never really, really clicked, but um, they tried. They tried to train Bunny, but Bunny was, she has a lot of great skills, but she just, is so nervous out in the out in public. She's still very nervous, as you can see. She's she's curious, but she's nervous. Um, she's a happy girl. When she's at home, she's the happiest girl. She is always wagging wagging her tail. Um, the cutest thing she does is when she goes to lay down. Her little tail starts as she's circling the bed and it starts with a little waggle and it gets faster and faster and faster and then she comes in for a landing and she crashes in the bed and then her tail's done wagging. Um, she also, if you look at her, she, we joke that like, Bunny loves love. Bunny just, she's got hearts all over her body with her markings. She, she has at least four of them if you study her coat. She's got at least four, four hearts, but she loves love. You just have to look at her, and she just like her tail starts wagging, and she's like, "Oh, Bunny loves you. You looked at Bunny. Bunny loves you." So she's just a loving, loving girl, and she hears some other dogs outside, and she's like, "They're gonna eat me." She's terrified. She's like, "Daisy, save me! Daisy, save me!" So Daisy's like, "Bunny, Bunny, you, you got this. You can handle this." But um, Bunny loves going on walks. She's She's a, a good walker on a leash. We don't let her off a leash because she's very impulsive and she likes to play hide and seek. Uh, the few times that we have tried letting her off the leash, she'll run and she'll go and she'll hide behind a tree and wait for you to find her. And like, she'll adjust her body so that you can't see her body. Like, it's hard to believe a dog would do this, but Bunny does this. And just when you think, or I thought, like, I'm in so much trouble. I, I, I'm not going to ever get this dog back. I like put down the treats. I went in to grab some help. I turned around, and then she came, and she was eating every all the treats that I put down. She, <laughs> she ate all the treats. She ate the soft food, and then she started barking. And I was like, oh, she's back. So she didn't go very far. She was just like, okay, you're not going to play my game anymore. I'll come back. So um, let's see. She also, when she's out for a walk, she loves, she has to have a stick. And she's always on a quest, quest to find the biggest stick that she can find. 
And as she's going, she'll, it's got to be a long stick, not a fat stick. She looks for the longest one. So she'll walk along, she'll find a little one, and then she'll start to walk, she'll go a little while longer, and then she'll see another one. We have this. <laughs> I know. No. As her buddy is a screamer, she, she doesn't just bark, she screams. Honey, come on. Come on. We're good. You're good. Okay. So she's, she's kind of a weird. She kind of gets. Daisy's her, emotion, her emotional support dog in these sorts of situations. Daisy's like, it's okay, Bunny, I'll protect you. <laughs> so, <laughs> Bunny's little barker gets going, and she'll be barking for a while. Like, she can't control it. Her little woofer goes, yeah. <laughs> um, she, she loves to play. I think I might have said that. She'll even play fetch. That's really unusual for a Dane yeah. that she'll play fetch. We joke that she doesn't know she's a Dane. So, um, we have daughter. She's not a girl. No, not a girl. Funny. Daisy. Daisy, why don't you come up? Daisy. Come on. Daisy girl. Can you call Daisy, please, Josh? Daisy girl. Oh, hold it down, girl. I'm just making the blinds worse. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, thank you for trying. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, my God. Uh, so we have dog toys all over at our house, and Bunny calls most of them her own. Daisy has probably three or four toys that are her toys, and they're, like, she has a giant hedgehog, and she has a big pillow bone, and that's, well, she has a few other toys, but most of the toys are Bunny's. And Daisy's okay with that. Daisy's favorite toys, I brought her one of her favorites. This is her baby bunny. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong dog. This is Bunny's baby bunny. She also has a carrot. Bunny actually is like, she, she hasn't met a food she doesn't like. She yeah. likes carrots. Strangely, I, I don't know. I guess a lot of dogs like carrots, but yeah. Daisy is so opposed to carrots. Really? She will not eat them. So you can do carrots for one, but the other's got to have something something different? Yeah, exactly. She will not touch carrots. She, If I get out the carrot peeler and she smells it, mm -hmm. she'll, she comes. And she's got her nose up in the air the same way as if you were cooking like chicken or beef. <laughs> she's like, carrots. So she's the same way if I come in from the garden and I have like green beans or any other vegetables. Mm -hmm. She wants to eat them. Interesting. She'll take them right out of my pockets. Maybe she knows they're good. Maybe yeah, she knows she, she's helping herself out. Yeah, yeah. she loves them. Oh, uh, let's see what else. Oh, uh, she's got the baby bunny. She's got the carrot, and she also loves to play tug. She's got a long braided fleece bunny that she loves to play with, and she's actually bunny is technically my daughter's dog. My daughter's working or doing something after school today. She she hasn't come home yet. But she's technically my daughter Jess's dog and um, Jess made her the, the tuggy. Oh, it's okay, buddy. It's okay, girl. All right, what else we have? I like that she's got little carrots on her collar. Yes, yes, yes. Very cute. Yes, yeah. you. We're getting a, I just ordered a new one because this carrot collar is getting a little sad. Oh. And we're going to upsize, we're going to go for a thicker carrot collar. Oh, <laughs> you're going to look so nice. She is going to look yeah. beautiful. Let's see. What else to see? Oh, she, she's an interesting dame because, uh, funny, she, we have many nyla bones throughout the house and she'll find them all if you say go get bony she collects them and she'll line them up in front of her bed like mm -hmm. parallel one next to the other <laughs> and they're not really for daisy they're all bunnies fun ones it's okay girl uh -huh. um she's never met a food that she doesn't like <laughs> she, and she's very vocal as you can tell by the way her barker got going but she she's a talker she talks around food um she talks in her sleep <laughs> she'll howl like a coyote in her sleep and there are times that we have to be like bunny enough so just the, the howling because it goes on for an unnatural amount of time 
Um, Daisy's the complete opposite. I, Daisy sleeps in Josh's room, but I've never heard Daisy make a peep in her sleep. Do you guys want a couple, couple Oh, sure, we can take questions. Okay. Um, so I have one says, do Daisy and Bunny play well together? Um, they also say they are both so beautiful. And that Josh, you look great, they said. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, they play hard together. They have a lot of fun. We try to keep the playing outside because playing inside doesn't always end well. Um, but playing inside, playing outside, oh, they play so well. They have so much fun. Um, they love to chase each other. They, they, they play like the dogs on the hill. They, they really, truly play hard together, and they, they love each other. Uh -huh. Someone else wants to know, does she ever try to use her service dog skills she learned when she's not anxious, so like when she's at home? You know, she does. Like, if she'll still do come around, and she still knows her right and her left. Um, if, I, if I fall down, I don't usually fall down, but like, I know I'm supposed to let go of the leash if she pulls. Mm -hmm. But there are times that she's pulled a little too hard. A couple of times I just hey girl, it's okay. Buddy, come. Buddy, come here. Buddy down. Down. It's okay, girl. There are times that she's pulled me and I've landed like flat on the ground in my backyard. And she'll go down next to me and like wait for me to like she has no idea what to do, or how to get me up, but no. she'll lay down next to me. Hey, it's okay, girl. It's okay. It's okay, girl. Let's see. Is there anything else? What is Honey. I'm sorry. What is the best part of having a service dog? Is there the a best, best part? part? Is there one best part? What's the no. best part? Everything. Everything. Do <laughs> um, you want one last question? Sure. I don't um, mind questions. Okay. Does Daisy go to school with you? Does she have a special place or towel that she sits on? She has yoga mat in all of my classrooms. Really? Yeah. I wouldn't have even thought of like a yoga mat. I have seven. I have like, I know I have like five. I have like five class, five classrooms, and she has one in each one. Oh, that's really cool. I like yeah, it's nice. To, they can roll them up to keep them not there, and they can clean them too. Yeah. Oh, so that's they cool. can disinfect everything, which is key. Yeah. <laughs> Been a little over 10 minutes. So, if you think you've told everything you want to tell today and you've answered um, some questions. Okay. Um, I just, I think I, I'm, I'm fine. I can answer more, or if you have a few more, I'm not, I'm not, I know you guys have, you have feeding to do, but I don't want to. A little bit, but we're here for everyone here today. Let's <laughs> see. Someone said they remember in the kitchen, Bonnie used to hide behind Rosie, so it sounds like she's always had a bit of a support mm. friend. Yes, yes. <laughs> After she and Rosie got separated because there was a little bit of like uh, sibling stuff going on, mm -hmm. litter mate stuff, she then had Quinn, who went on to become Elijah's service dog. Quinn was, when we adopted Bunny, Quinn was Bunny's emotional support dog. So yes, yeah, she's always needed some another dog to comfort her and calm her down. Works best with a friend. Yes, <laughs> yes. All right. We're cool know. here. We're cool. We've gone through the questions. Awesome. We've said hello. We've had the dogs. We've had a good time. I hope. I, I hope that I. If I did what I was supposed to. Yeah, it was really good. All right. I'm gonna turn the sound off, and we'll be good. Thank you.